If you are new here, we are Isabel and David. Two years ago, we dropped everything and left London to backpack around the world. So let's hop on the map. Hi there, today we take you to a tea factory and to get there we took two local buses from our couch surfing place. The second bus was in the city center of Noir Aelia. Today we are going to see the Pedro tea plantation. I don't think there are going to be workers today there because the Sunday yesterday was a bank holiday here. But we got here by bus and we had to take two buses from our place. And here we are. It was just a quick ride. Finally we arrived. We just came out from the Pedro's tea factory. Today the workers are not working but still we see the process. The smell inside the tea factory was super nice. And now we're gonna experience how they are collecting the leaves and which leaves is good to collect. And the workers they are collecting 18 kilogram leaves in 8 hours. That is falling down and become a fertilizer. Oh. So just like very very young ones. Yeah. Mm. Now you can start the birds. Pick the leaves. 18 kilos in 8 hours, please. Only the young ones. It's a very hard work. I want to see that bag full, okay? Alright, let's get started. I want to get my tea. I want to drink it. A good one, yeah? Do you have like a special technique? To, to Two leaves it? with bud. Two leaves with the bud. Like this. Ah, okay. I can pluck just one that is good. I have to pluck two by two. Oh, wow. Isabel is collecting the tea. Only the young ones. So today we are working for the Pedro Tea Factory, looks like. <laughs> we need to collect as many leaves as possible. Time is over. We got 50 minutes to collect a couple of leaves. It was even hard to find them. And uh, yeah, let's see now. And this one is to level to see which one are older and younger. How was the tea collecting experience? It was short, but it was tiring just to find the, the right ones. So this is how much we got in 50 minutes. Yes. So now we are having a taste of the tea. And there are so many different types, uh, BOP, B, BOP, P, or so, so all these sorts. We are having BOP, that means a broken orange peacock. And inside the factory, we saw all the different types of uh, uh, grinding, like the ones that is for English breakfast, uh, the one that has Sri Lankans drink, and so on. Nice. It has an orange color and yeah, it's quite particular, the taste. Tour of the tea factory and the tea plantation was done. So now we are going to see a waterfall. As we were walking out, we saw these hardworking ladies dropping the leaves they collected in the morning and getting them ready for the scale. Next time you drink a cup of tea, please remember these clips. There it is, you can see the lover sleep. We had to hike a little bit, but now we made it and it looks beautiful, surrounded by tea plantation and also some jungle. And look how misty and foggy it is here. Very hazy. Of course, 
all around the more tea fields. And yeah, I love this spot. Like it's very magical. Now we have the hazy um, views. We have like the tea fields, of course, and also a lot of trees. From there, like it's starting a bit of forest. Who knows? Maybe we're gonna see a leopard. David is very sweaty. <laughs> That's how he's resting right now. We just left the waterfall and now we are making our way down. Take the bus and we're gonna go back to Nora area, the city, to discover a bit more. But at the moment we are still in the tea field and beautiful tea plantation. Maybe the last time we're gonna see it here in Sri Lanka. And you look beautiful like this as well, just like the tea plantations, the tea fields. <laughs> Thank you. David is chewing the top of the tea leaves. They are bitter but kind of taste nice. Yeah. It tastes tea, isn't it? It does, yeah. Mm, this one I got very bitter. I think you chew a little bit and then you spit. This is for the best. Yeah. So we took the bus and got to the city of Nuara Elia, back again. And we wanted to stop at the main bus station because it's just in front of the post office. And look, post office is quite pretty. I think I read somewhere that it's the oldest in Sri Lanka. And it's so cute with all these red bricks. Getting dressed, it's getting cold. <laughs> and yeah, you have amazing, quite cool stamps here on the windows of the post office with some endemic birds of Sri Lanka and some like um, historic landmarks and more animals. And look, David, there is even your queen, Her Majesty. Here we are, a single tree here on our last day in Waraelia. So yeah, here we are after the hike. We didn't reach the top, but I, we think like here is like already a very good uh, view. Probably even better than the very, very top. So we followed our couch surfing post advice to come here. And uh, yeah, like we are very happy we did it uh, just before going to Candy. Later on, we're gonna catch the train to get there. And yeah, it's awesome, like with all the haze around, the mountains, the clouds a little bit. And then you have uh, the view over Gregory Lake. Plus you just admire all the plantation fields, you know, all the hills and whatnot that uh, we actually did on the way up because uh, from the city you can come through like a road path, but we did it the hardcore way, <laughs> we came through the tea fields and we did a record but I took a couple of pictures with my phone of David that had just the sun popping up behind the hill and as it was rising. Very sunny. Need your sunglasses, Okay, here it goes. Better. So where we are now, just behind the Buddhist temple basically, and we found this rock, looks like a bench, perfect spot to see everything and sit and chill. So it's just a few meters after the Buddhist temple, you know, like this white uh, uh, sort of pagoda, I don't know how they call it, right? Yes, exactly. And actually here they are even like building an extension of it. We can see some statues uh, inside. We are closing this video here. And we are going to candy later on so be sure to share this video with your friends if you want to show some tea plantations in sri lanka this place is amazing it has lovely landscapes and be sure to hit the like button if you like this video that helps us so much subscribe if you haven't already and don't miss the next one <laughs>